Hi, uh, my name is Amir Salafpour. I'm uh, working with Nutrient Management Spear Program at Cornell University. And today my talk, or my poster, is about nitrogen versus phosphorus space manure and compost management of corn and it covers basically from corn yield and quality to environmental and soil aspects of this management practice. So the idea behind this study is that uh, basically farmers apply manure based on the nitrogen requirements of corn or their crop basically and manure but has all other sorts of nutrients such as phosphorus, potassium, and micronutrients and basically when you apply manure based on the nitrogen requirements you over apply manure basically for phosphorus and potassium that in the long run will end up uh, being salt as phosphorus and potassium increase in the soil which might cause uh, phosphorus and uh, uh, phosphorus runoff and put, uh, high K forages for example. So uh, for example uh, one uh, potential alternative is that to shift from N based management to P based management and with Im immediate incorporation of manure so that you basically conserve nitrogen and, and provide that nitrogen needs of the corn crop. So uh, in our objective therefore is to, to look at the shift from N-based to P-based crop management on, on corn silage yield and quality and soil pH, organic matter and soil test P and soil test K over time. So we conducted a field study, it initiated in 2001 and it continued until 2006. Uh, we, the study site was in Aurora, New York. Uh, if you look at the soil baseline in 2001, uh, in top, tw top 8 inches basically, the soil pH, uh, soil organic matter, uh, and Morgan extractable nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium were 7.5, 35 gram per kilogram, 5.2, 5.1, and 47 milligram per kilogram respectively. In, in New York, based on the New York guidelines, the phosphorus is, is basically considered as high and potassium considered as medium. So the, we had a, uh, the experimental design as a randomized complete plug design with five replications. We had two rates of composted dairy solids at 46 and 74 milligram per hectare. We had two rates of uh, liquid dairy manure with the rates of 68 and 196 kiloliter per hectare. The, the lower values are or P-based management and the higher values are or, or N-based management. And we had two, two inorganic N rates of 0 and 112 kilogram nitrogen per hectare. Basically this 112 kilogram per hectare is a recommend, recommended nitrogen rate based on a Lo, 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 another piece of this study which was focused on nitrogen rates from 0 to 200 and, uh, 250 pounds per acre. And so that's, that's based on the mare and that's what we found to be our uh, recommended nitrogen rate. So we, we planted corn and we had, we had a starter banded nitrogen and uh, 252 kilogram per acre of 10 10 10 in 2001 to 2003 and we had 149 uh, kilogram per hectare of 15, 15, 15 during 2004 and 2005. Um, we sampled, soil sampled the plow layer, uh, basically 0 to 20 centimeter depths, uh, 7 to 10 times during the growing season. And uh, basically, we analyzed the soil for Morgan extractable nitrate, P and K, soil pH, and organic matter. And we had all other, other, other aspects of it which are not included in this poster. And we harvested the corn, as you can see, with a corn harvester. Uh, and we basically took subsamples for forage crude protein analysis. So going to the results, we, we, for corn dry matter yield and protein content, we can see that the shift 
from N base to P base manure and compost management. And uh, basically in, in the figure, the compost ones are the blue blue colors and the manure ones are green colors and basically the orange and yellow are inorganic treatments and, and the darker colors are N base N base treatments. And you can see a shift from N base to P base management, you lose basically seven to thirteen percent of yield and eight to nine percent of uh, crude protein basically, which suggests that we perhaps need uh, extra inorganic nitrogen fertilizer to compensate for that yield loss. If you look at the soil pH and this figure, figure 4, uh, you, can, you can see that the uh, shift from N-base to P-base manure, uh, manure and compost management basically increased soil pH by 0.4 and 0.3 pH unit respectively. And we, we got a lower pH by, uh, with the higher inorganic N rate. And, we, and also we saw no, basically no differences between the pH from the initial pH and the, late, and the final pH with the P-based management. If you look at the soil organic matter in this figure, basically the, the soil organic matter increased by uh, 0.4 gram per kilogram after five years with the in in with the N base compost management, uh, for phosphorus based compost and uh, nitrogen based manure did not change the soil organic matter over time. However, uh, P based manure and uh, in inorganic N treatments reduce soil organic matter. Basically, we think that maybe tillage incorporation with the, with the P-based manure might be the reason for that. If you look at the soil N, P, and K trends in this figure, figure 5, uh, the top one is the nitrate, the middle one is the phosphorus, and the lower one is the phosphorus. Uh, you can see the nitrogen-based re treatments resulted in higher soil nitrate levels at harvest time. Uh, uh, in the top 20 uh, centimeter of the soil, we had we had uh, lower we had lower uh, in a, in a, lower nitrate level with zero in treatment compared with the inorganic. Uh, if you look at the middle middle one, you can see that the phosphorus levels from being basically 5.1, they're now in, in N-based compost, they are, they are increasing by uh, six volt, which which is which basically suggests that the N-based compost management exceeds phosphorus level to the to the point that you don't want to apply any longer. And the same happened with the uh, potassium levels. Uh, soil test K levels increased three and four, two fold with N-based and, and P-based management. So for, for conclusion for this study is that a shift from N-based to P-based management, uh, you will lose yield by uh, 7 to 13 percent depending on the source. A shift from N-based to P-based manure management uh, basically reduce, reduce the soil organic matter. Soil organic matter improved with the N-based compost than P-based. And uh, our soil, soil pH remain unchanged, uh, while end of season nitrate, PNK, were significantly lower with the P base management compared with the N base management. Uh, basically, P base management showed some environmental potential and benefits, but uh, some inorganic uh, nitrogen fertilization is required to compensate the yield loss. And I, I would like to thank my advisor, Corinne Kettering, and uh, Greg Gost Godwin and Carl Simic for helping me providing this poster, and also Sustainable Dairy, uh, called Dairy Cap, and uh, Federal Formula Funds for fu funding our project. Thank you.